So today, guys, we're going to Tokyo's largest desert island. There's just two problems. Number one, to get there, we have to go by plane. And I really don't like flying, especially given we're going on the ricketiest Indiana Jones plane there is. Number two, worst of all, coming with us on this trip, is him. Why would you want friends to come on with this trip? Come on, it'll be fun! Friends, eh? Well, wacky weekend, let's do it. Wacky weekend. Wish us luck. So I've got an app on my phone called Am I Going Down? That tells you your odds of dying. Right, you like Hanover Airport, British Airways, okay. uh, London, mm -hmm. and it'll be like, you've got a one in a million chance. Mm -hmm. I tried to find this airport, Chorfu Airport, nothing. I tried to find this plane, Nothing. I tried to find the airline, not even on the app. Because nothing's ever happened. It's going to be fine, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, it's only 30 minutes. I'm minutes. more worried about being roasted alive. This is the smallest plane I've ever been on, and um, there's, there's just no air con, and it's like 40 degrees outside. I think half of us are going to make it, and that's just because the temperature is so large. <laughs> this is the largest temperature ever committed to film. Japan is one great big archipelago with 14,125 islands, 260 of which are inhabited. Many of these islands live out a mysterious existence and have their own unique identities, cultures and ways of life. And yet, one of the most overlooked is actually Tokyo's biggest island. In just a 30-minute flight, you can be transported from the concrete heart of the world's largest city to the luscious subtropical volcanic island of Oshima. Despite feeling like a world away from Tokyo is part of the Izu Island chain that stretches out far into the Pacific, Oshima is still technically part of Tokyo Prefecture. Having recently befriended an English teacher living on Oshima, I figured the time had come to go and see what island life is actually like, while all the while accompanied by my personal bodyguard and physician, Sea Dog VA. Why do I have to go first? Coming up on Wacky Weekend, we'll meet the locals and take a peek inside an English teacher's apartment. Traverse the largest black sand desert in all of Japan. We'll get trapped in an abandoned school, absolutely crawling with massive huntsman spiders. The oh big. god, there's a giant spider on it! <gasps> Why are we here? What is the point of this? This isn't wacky weekend, this is wacky shit. And get stuck into a local festival with some truly horrific dancing to show for. That was the hottest flight I've ever been on. The air conditioning didn't work. I would rather do a nine-hour flight that was one-tenth as hot as that than that do like... that again for 30 minutes. Having almost been roasted alive in our airborne sauna, we switch up the tiny airplane for a tiny car as we get our hands on a very special type of vehicle for the duration of our stay on Oshima Island. Hey, got our keys, got our car. Now, this is the first Born Japan video ever that we have rented a K car. Now, if you don't know what a K car is, imagine a boxy, crappy, small car, less than 1,000 cc, Tiny, not very good, but very tax efficient. Connor loves them, I hate them. How dare you, Chris, you uncultured swine. This is a Honda Life, I'll have you know, and it's called a Honda Life because it is life. This car is everything. In Japan, no. it's king. Not only is it fuel efficient, very affordable, it'll never break. Yeah, it might not break, but if you get in a car crash mm. in this, you are going to be pancakes and I... they're going to be scraping you off the fucking road. Simply don't worry about getting into car crashes. It sounds like a you problem. Anyway, would you you're like the, to see the inside? You're the driver. Don't worry about it. I'm very it. worried. I'll be fine. I'll show you inside. Give us the tour. Come on. Welcome to life. Honda life. Uh, as you can see, we have a kind of bench thing. I, I don't really know what the point of this is, uh, but this is where you and your friend can sit. However, in the back, we have certainly not my friend. We have this creature of a man, Chris Broad. How is the leg room back there? It's actually not that bad, but the roof. One distinction of K cars is the roofs are really high, which gives you that sort of boxy interior. Do you like the future? Well, don't, because it's over. <laughs> Do you like modern things? Well, no more, because we're back in the, uh, the prehistoric era with this thing. This is the worst thing ever, so if I want to try and play some music, I press the audio button, and we have all our familiar audio formats, such as FM radio, AUX. Uh, there is a AC unit, which kind of works. It does take about an hour to get started and do anything. <laughs> oh my god. I've changed my mind. This is the best thing ever. We've got TV. Let's let's not rate the car until you've actually driven it and seen how no, powerful I'm already, it is. No, I've already decided this is the best car ever. Why does sitting in this car feel like I need to start writing my obituary? What? Oh my God, go to the corner. The wheels have left the road at least three times now in the last five minutes. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I, listen, we're going up a hill right now. Listen to this. 
the V8 engine roars into life. I'm just life. trying to get to 20 miles an hour, and that's the engine <laughs> doing this. If we do have a car accident, it'll be so slow, nothing will happen. Yeah, you can't possibly get injured in this car because you'll never get fast enough. It feels weirdly romantic because it's just one big bench. It's like, oh, yeah, let me tell you yeah. about whales. Right. <laughs> that's that's not touch with your oily, <laughs> sun-lotioned hands. We are still in Tokyo. Technically still in Tokyo. But, but like already, this feels like we've gone to Hawaii or Okinawa, like the vibes from it, the palm trees, the scenery. Yeah. But for our first stop, we're going to meet my good friend Daniel, an Australian dude living on the island, who has been working here as an English teacher for the year. I want to get oh, the okay. scoop and actually see what it's like living on somewhere like this. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty remote, no convening, so I would love to know how he survives without family chicken. How could you survive? <laughs> so let's find out what it's like for him and uh, let's go and stop off at his apartment and get a tour. So, this is my friend Daniel's place. What do you make of it? Beautiful, right? Uh, <laughs> you want my honest opinion? Yeah. Daniel's a prisoner. <laughs> well, he's from Australia. Why, why is there bars on the window? Uh, that's a good question. Is or, it to stop him from leaving or people getting in? I'm more worried about the dead plants yeah, and the red but, stains, but... Daniel's uh, a teacher who's lived on this island for a year, right? Part okay. of the jet program, like myself. And uh, they always say on the jet program, you never know where you're going to end up, <laughs> what your experience is going to be like. And uh, I'm glad my experience wasn't this. Yeah, um, you make it seem like you're in like the remotest part of the world. And then we come here. Don't judge a book by its cover or an apartment by its shitty, horrendous facade. <laughs> Let's go in, meet Daniel and take a look inside. Beautiful commentary. Oh my God, on a scale of one to mold and cobwebs. <laughs> This is horrendous. Well, it's truly an Australian experience with all of these spiders. It's good these Australian. I, I, I would not be able to deal with all these spiders. Uh, what happened? Double combo. The right. door probably doesn't work. Hey! Oh, oh Daniel. Oh, good How you doing, Matt? Good. Long time nice to meet you. Connor. What do you think? It's great. I like this. It's nice. So how much is this place, Stan? 8,400 yen a month. Oh, who, so, how does that make sense? Is that yeah, just special discounts? discounts? I've got the teacher's subsidy, I've got the I was gonna island say. discount as well, so... Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Wow, so basically free. Pretty much. Pretty <laughs> free accommodation. Wow. Over here, welcome to my living room, I guess. Oh, that's This is nice. where I spend Sweet. most of my time. Um, I guess I've made it a bit homey ever since I've come here. I like it. <laughs> You're playing the Broad in Japan video. Oh. What a genius, what a fine man. <laughs> this wasn't planned either. <laughs> this is nice. Is I, I genuinely would love this. Oh yes, I used to have one of these in my apartment. Yeah. Like, You need it, it's an obligatory thing. In any first Japanese apartment, you've got to sit on the floor. I really like this, <laughs> I think this is great. Like the outside is... Uh, <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> horrific. And you come in here, you're like, oh, this is really pleasant. Like this looks better than the place you had in your videos. It does, it is a lot bigger than my apartment was. Yeah. One yeah. thing to point out though, where's the aircon down? So I was given an aircon from the previous oh. owner, but that thing broke on me last September. Oh. And ever since then, since I'm leaving now, they think it was worth the cost. But How much would it cost to fix it, did they tell you? I think it was about a thousand, two thousand dollars. Dollars oh, or so. Right. so. Also, you're Ten times the price of the apartment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two years rent, essentially. <laughs> what yep. the fuck? That's okay, understandable. One of the cons of Damn. living on an island, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Well, well, this you, is a nice living It's really nice, yeah. Yeah, wow. So unlike um, the other rooms in the in this building this room is all timber the other rooms are tatami so i guess i lucked out here um in terms of maintenance i guess but yeah i've uh, i didn't sleep on a futon when i first came but they gave me one but i upgraded needed to yes, be nice. a king i guess <laughs> nice. very good very good nice so, bed yeah. You have the biggest bottle of lotion. Yes, QV, one of the best brands in <laughs> Australia. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Scott? It's, it's a big <laughs> bottle of lotion. You have to ruin everything, don't you? This is it's quite big. Yeah, quite spacious. I've got nice. a lot of counter space that I can do a bit of cooking. Damn, this is nice. Oh, what's this? Ah, Dr. Oh, Jelly. Oh, it's Dr. Oh, Jelly. Dr. Jelly. Isn't that great, Connor? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Connor's just knocked three points off the apartment. But no, it's a good space. Like, my kitchen before was like just this, right? So at least you've got some like prep space and a staggering amount of, protein. of whey protein. Yeah. What about the bathroom? You can fit yourself. Yeah. But, uh, I've only used it twice. You've only used it twice? twice. Why only twice? I prefer the onsen. Plus, ah. I saw a Geji Geji and a Huntsman. Okay, fuck right that. Behind that, so. Did you say Huntsman? Yes. I didn't even know you could get Huntsman spiders in Japan until last year. I mean, a good friend of mine 
I had a video of him like vacuuming one up. Oh wow. He's like huge spiders. I only thought they existed in Australia. I understand the $70 rent now. Yeah. If I had to live with the spiders. <laughs> and Gedji Gedji, have you, seen, have you ever seen one? No, no, oh, no, I haven't. I haven't seen one. I thought I had, but I haven't. They're in Journey Across Japan. We went into a cave and oh, uh, monsters, right? Joey saw one and Natsuki saw one and they screamed. And um, we thought there were some sort of aliens because I've never seen anything like it. So yeah, for that reason, I, I don't know if I could live here. As lovely as the apartment is, knowing what terrors lie within the bath or underneath <laughs> the blankets. There's one thing I want to know. Is the internet good? On oh, the, the internet islands? is very good. And, look, and I, I come from Australia. We get the worst, yeah, the worst. internet. <laughs> but here it's at least, what, almost a gig. I feel like the UK has no excuse now. A gig? That's or crazy. Or like a desert island. It's got better internet than the UK. <laughs> oh my God, it's ridiculous. So both Colin and I were wondering what yeah. this is. It looks like a walking stick. This will say a musical instrument. What's this, Danny? So this is called a shakuhachi. Oh, shakuhachi. It's one of the, uh, I guess, bamboo instruments of uh, Japan, native Ooh. instrument. Looks <laughs> 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 like he's going to stab someone. It's like cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> What's the verdict? You think you can live here? I think now, no. <laughs> uh, but I think, you know, if I'd have just come out of university, I would love this. I think this would have been great. Like, you know, you get your own little place, mm, great mm. internet speeds, which is the big one. Yeah, I know. You were kind of like, oh, it's rubbish, it's shitter, until we found it was one gigabyte well, no, 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 internet no, no. speed. No, it's <laughs> oh, it's a paradise on Earth. Make a Twitch stream. In previous Wacky Weekend outings, you may have seen Connor and I getting some really cool shots with a 360 camera, including Connor crashing a car in a forest. <laughs> Where the fuck would I want to go on this road? or Connor crashing a rowing boat oh, in a lake. Starboard. And we get those shots using the Insta360 camera. And they just brought out the world's smallest action camera, the Insta360 GO 3. And this isn't it. This over here is it. Tiny, 35 grams, incredible. Oh, and they're sponsoring this wacky weekend. But to think this is 2.7K, like this tiny camera here, in a waterproof form factor, is bonkers. Like, how have they done this? This is like breaking the rules of physics. Like, in a world where action cameras are becoming all the same, it's really kind of exciting to see what Insta360 can do. This camera lasts 45 minutes, and it's like the size of my thumb. Tiny plane, tiny camera. And then when you put it into the pod, like so, it's now 170 minutes. The fact it's waterproof, it's incredibly well stabilized, like it's on a gimbal. I don't know how they've done that. Uh, 2.7K picture quality, like, this is magic. This is witchcraft. I don't know how they've done it, but these days all action cameras tend to do the same thing over and over. And it's really kind of exciting to see Insta360 take this innovative approach, right? To not only have a flip out screen where you can monitor yourself, but also do it wirelessly. And I can preview it over Bluetooth a few meters away. You can get really creative with it. It comes with this clip, right? And I'm going to stick it in there locked in place and now when I'm on the buggy in a little bit rocketing across the largest desert in Japan I get this amazing POV shot or if I just want to bully and harass Connor as well you can be there where the action is seeing Connor up close God. How you doing? Terrified me I was enjoying the AC what is that? <laughs> what is that? This is the future, Connor. This is not the future. This is the future of you going to prison, pointing <laughs> that thing in. <laughs> Before we head off to the volcanic summit of Oshima, I want to find out how Dan reacted when he was randomly placed out here on the island as an English teacher. Must have been quite the surprise. He reveals all as we tuck into lunch at the quaint local restaurant. We've got chicken rice here, watermelon, and uh, egg soup. Pretty nice. This is your local right now? This is my local. I come here every day after work, or for lunch break rather. Right. Just have this, and you wouldn't believe the cost. All of this, 600 yen. That's insane. Wow. That yeah. is crazy. So, yeah. Unfortunately, you can't see Connor, but know, know that he's having fun. He's already eaten all the food before we've even begun. <laughs> <laughs> when you found out you were coming to this island to live here as a teacher, what was your initial kind of reaction, right? Because like, you kind of find out like two or three months before you get the job. Right. right. The JET program, they sent me an email about July last year. Mm. And they said, Daniel, you're going to Tokyo. So I was like, shoot, I don't have enough money for that rent. <laughs> um, but it wasn't until uh, about early August that I was told, you're going to an island that's part of Tokyo. Not just Tokyo, but an island. And when you saw the map, you were like, what? Yep. What's this? I had no idea that those islands existed, and it was just, just shock. And how has it been looking back over last year? Just the lifestyle here, it's just very laid back. What do you do with all your free time? All the free time I've just been exploring. And the shakuhachi. Right? And the shakuhachi, right. So. Next thing you need to take up beatboxing. <laughs> so you can combine it, right? 
So we've just had lunch, and uh, Dan's taken us off to Urasabaku, the largest black volcanic desert in all of Japan, up the mountainside. And we're going to go and see it on some buggies. You're going to die. I'm not going to die. You can barely drive a, a moped, let alone an ATV. <laughs> I mean, just because I've crashed a moped once, it yeah. doesn't mean in Italy. I didn't even know you'd done that. Did, <laughs> it's the only crash I've had. It was in oh, Italy. Oh, only crash. It was the other driver's only fault, crash. I'm telling you. It's okay. not going to happen. It's not going to happen now. This is it. What is this? This is where the bug is. This is, this is like where one of the final scenes of Breaking Bad was shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Walter. I gotta kill you. <laughs> oh, I'd want to drive that. That's like that's cute. That's like a kid's Jurassic Park. Look at that. So uh, these are the buggies. We're gonna be riding up the volcano, right? <laughs> He'll be, he'll be like, see my send, shut the fuck up on a guy's shaman. Let's get it, big boy. What did you call me? Let's go, big boy. Oh. It's not every day you use your hat as a camera, but it should be a pretty good perspective of Connor crashing. The vibrations feel good on my butt. <laughs> oh. As we head up the mountainside to the volcanic desert, it quickly becomes apparent that the ATV isn't designed for a man of my carriage. It's bloody buggy, I'm full throttling it, and it's only doing 12 kilometers per hour. I don't know if it's my excessive weight, or if the buggy's broken, or I feel embarrassed, given that all the other buggies, including Connor's, Daniel's, are going a lot faster. It must be broken, surely, surely. Having just got the hang of the buggies, it's already time to go off-road as we arrive at the striking volcanic desert of Urasabaku. I've never driven across a desert on an ATV before, let alone a volcanic desert. <laughs> well, that's tough. Fun though. I'm going full throttle and it's not doing anything. It's pretty steep, or I'm pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Urasabaku desert. Oh, wow. kind of otherworldly kind of Martian landscape, apart from the plants and Welsh people. But uh, Mount Mihara is behind it, and it's ingrained in a lot of popular culture in Japan. Uh, for example, Godzilla was stuffed into it in one of the movies. Oh, really? The Japanese government were like, let's get rid of him, put him in Mount Mihara. And then in the sequel, five years later, they bombed it and he, got, he escaped. So it's just a place where you would put a, a monster hidden away. That's where you'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you stole my joke. <laughs> it last erupted in 1990, but in 1986 there was a major eruption and all of the island's 12,000 inhabitants had to sort of leave, they had to evacuate. It's one of those things of volcanoes, it looks kind of beautiful and nice, but you forget the more sort of sinister side to it, right? You forget that it, it, it controls us. We don't really get a say in what happens. If the volcano wants to explode and we all die, I guess that the best we can do is run away. Absolutely. Sounds like your fiery temper. Like, <laughs> we just hope we can control him. That's like Chris Broad if there's no family chicken left. <laughs> you better get away from me in the one mile radius. Or you're gonna die. I think you realize it's a bit boring of being on a volcano. That's why no one builds a house there. I love the way Connor comes up and he's already thinking about planning permission. Where should I build my house? Where should I build my castle? To come somewhere like this, I thought you needed to get quite far away from Tokyo, but the fact we got here in like a 30 minute plane ride, you can Not be bad. in like the biggest volcanic desert in the country. It's pretty damn awesome. It does make me want to eat some food though, weirdly. I've got dinner lined up. Oh. I haven't told you what it is yet. Okay. It's a special secret. What does that mean? Do you know what kusaya is? Kusai means stinky. Yes. So stinky fish? Yes. I think Wacky Weekend's over. I think we're going back. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, my next Wacky Weekend's gonna be in a five-star hotel alone. <laughs> and the, the wacky part <laughs> is that so you're not there. That's just an average Saturday in the day of life in Connor. <laughs> Out of the volcanic desert and into the actual hellscape that is the Kusaya food restaurant. I'll admit I've done a pretty good job to avoid Kusaya over the last 10 years living in Japan and I'm really not looking forward to trying it for the first time. The only way I'll get through it is knowing Connor will be suffering alongside me every step of the way. Romne is a dangerous drink. After all this time I've still not worked out how to open it without making it explode everywhere. I figured out how to open beer a long time ago. How do you kids do this? <laughs> Toddler, little toddlers do this. You got half of that one on me. So this is the restaurant, Mantate. Dan recommended it Ooh. for several reasons. He said the food is amazing, right? Open the menu. First thing you see, dinner menu, sloppy. 
<laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, you've got some good items. Connor, you've gone for the uh, the pork. Shoyaki, one of my favourite Japanese, if not my favourite Japanese dish. It's very nice. It's Ginger pork. amazing. If you ever come to Japan, I highly recommend you get it. It's so good. Oh, that's listed here as dangerous. I live on the, the side of danger, yeah. often, with my food. <laughs> live on the side of sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, of course, we've ordered the Oshima Kusaya. Incredible scent. <laughs> Of course, the word for incredible in Japan, like sugoi, can also mean like incredibly bad. That's so. what I mean about Chris. Sugoi smell. Yeah. So, you know a dish smells bad when it's got foil over it. I can already smell it. <clears throat> smell that. I can't smell that. I smell that. Right? Surely it can't. <laughs> I just got goosebumps. <laughs> one, one, one sniff. It smells it, like like cat food where you open the tin I, I, and you just leave it in the sun for three days. Do you think days. it's going to taste good? Though? Oh god. That's all I have, right? <laughs> oh man, that's really bad. That's that's really bad. Can you smell that? Yeah, need to. Go on, have a sniff of that, Paul. All right, well, go have a bite. Uh, Your video, you should go first. Uh, all right, we'll do it at the same time. All right, let's start yours. Oh, it tastes fine. It tastes like just smoked fish. It's just the smell in your it's mouth. It's kind of like a bomb. Oh, it's like shoes. Old shoes. It's very like you would need a, an alcoholic drink, most certainly. Or rum there. The fan keeps w w wafting the <laughs> smell in my face. It's the worst smelling dish I've ever smelled by far. I've smelled some it's not bad. terrible things in my time. Honestly, flavor-wise, six out of 10. Smell is a zero, easily. But the flavor's not bad. Decent. Oh, here we go. That's not sure that. Oh my god, mm. they're fast mm. here. Jesus. What well, menu there? Hi. And this sloppy. So you caught about scuffed mask. Sloppy, what do you mean? It's like a time and it's like a time. Oh. Ah. Eh? It's a unique menu. It's a unique menu. It's a unique menu. It's a unique menu. It's a Oh, sloppy. Why? Why sloppy? <laughs> They look like they've slaughtered half a pig farm for your menu. Thank goodness. While Connor devours his mountain of pork, I'm tasked with rebranding the menu for the restaurant. <laughs> ah. Sloppy Janakti. Sloppy Janakti. It takes a little time. Really, really long. <laughs> Why would you say? Uh, no. would it you takes time. I think. People read it takes time, they think it's going to take like 25 minutes. It's, mm. It really comes out fast. <laughs> My services are requested throughout the land to translate menus and get rid of the word sloppy. I feel like I've done a disservice to the restaurant though. Like, that would have been like a cool reason to come in to see the, the menu, sloppy restaurant. get the sloppy. I don't want Chris's sloppy ever again. <laughs> oh, what a weird day. A sloppy day. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in the day, Daniel introduced us to the charming owner of Restaurant Oshibana, Kanagawa-san. And having been born and raised in Oshima, she's kindly agreed to chat about what life was like growing up on the island back at her inn. It's here that I'm surprised to learn that as recently as 50 years ago, the women of the island were expected to carry drinking water in buckets over their heads. A far cry from the technological wonderland that was Tokyo, which around the same time was producing bullet trains and transistors just across the bay. これで水を汲みに行ったの。ああ。うん。あの、その崖のところまでね。で、これでここに<笑> <笑>住みやすい。これ必要なんだよね。ね、住みやすいっていうのはやっぱりまあ、コンビニとかないけども、コンビニあるのは幸せではない。なぜかというとね、自分で全部作れる。ああ。畑もある、海もある、いろいろ
<笑>ないですマックはない本当にモスバーガーもない<笑><笑> KFC, nice. 7-Eleven, Family Mall. Oh my God. I mean, no, no, no. But it's all about the world. So, it's okay. So, it's okay. So, it's okay. So, it's okay. If you're bored of Tokyo, if you're like me, tired, come to Oshima. <laughs> Refresh yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. While it's reassuring to hear Kanagawa san is hopeful for the future of Oshima, it's sad that most folks don't even realize the island exists. Or that it might just have the best view of Mount Fuji that I've ever seen from across the Pacific as the sun sets in the west. All that's left to do now is attempt to sleep on a stomach full of fermented kusaya fish. Ugh. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our desert island adventure. Now, normally on Wacky Weekend, we do a room tour. It's a big part of it. There's usually a shot of Connor lounging, lazing around in a bath. But we don't have that because we're in a fairly standard uh, motel style accommodation. It means that I have to listen to Chris's snoring non stop because I'm only two meters away from him at any given time. You do. One good thing about this place is that in the breakfast area, they have paid for coffee, additional 400 yen,、uh, and it's Kona coffee. Uh, which is my name in Japanese, Kona. Okay. <laughs> But I think we should go swimming then. I like the pool.、Oh. We can go swimming. In fact, I think we should start this morning by going swimming. What do you say? No, 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 no.、Okay. I've got a better idea. Why go swimming in this ragged pool? <laughs> Why go swimming in this pool? We can go swimming in the sea, snorkeling. I, mean, I, I guess, yeah. See some sharks. Sure. What? what? Where are sharks? Man, the waters of Oshima are absolutely stunning. Who's ready to go beneath them? We're going to get dragged away into the ocean. I'm never going to see <laughs> you again if you go in that water. You like to live on the edge, don't you, Connor? Dangerously on the yeah, plank. Yeah, I, I mean, like, this kind of view is really nice. You get used to being here. And,、uh, as long as there's nothing dangerous, obviously. Well, there was like three shark, three sharks spotted like two days ago in this park. So fuck it. Oh, that looks kind of painful. <laughs> All right, let's go snorkeling. Oh, that looks quite painful. That was a, was that a belly flop? It doesn't look like a belly flop. I haven't jumped off of anything into some water in a long time. I am a pussy. What a baby! Get in the water! Me and the sea have a rough relationship. I surf, I swim, <laughs> but after I perforated my eardrum last year, I'm a little bit more cautious jumping off a thing. Before Welsh Little Mermaid completely disappears off under the sea, we turn our attention back inland towards the mountains, where, amongst the luscious forests of Oshima, Daniel was promised us an abandoned school, albeit unfortunately drenched in huntsman spiders. Oh, yay, I really can't wait for this. So, you've been driving the K car for about a day now.、Mm. What are your thoughts? I feel like we're going to die every time we turn the corner. I like that it feels closer to a go car than a car. <laughs> that's not a pro, Connor. No, I, not I a think good that's、thing. great. It feels nimble. It feels like it can maneuver things. What would Jeremy Clarkson say? This car feels like a McDonald's toy if it was put on wheels.、Uh, and, and the fact that it can't chug gas quick enough to kill a baby turtle is not good enough for me. That's what he would say. <laughs> Look at that. This is called Senzu Kiridoshi, literally cut tree path. It's just like a tree. <laughs> oh, for fuck. It has to ruin everything, doesn't it? No, it's just the tree. It's just like, this is cult. This is beautiful. Culture. But... Yeah, culture. <laughs> it's culture. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, you go on. Tell me about it. It's what it leads to. Okay, what does it lead An to? An abandoned preschool. Right. The, the spirit of dead children is what I wanted for my nice Monday morning. They didn't die, they just shut the school. Population of the islands dropped a lot. It's halved since the 1960s. Used to be 14,000 people here in Oshima, now 7,000. Hence the abandoned school. We're going to go take a look and、uh, walk through this picturesque Kiridoshi. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Initial thoughts?、Uh, it's like a mosquito breeding ground.、Yeah. Oh, watch out for snakes. Oh my God. Yeah, genuinely, watch out. Right. You know how dangerous the hub of snake is, right? No.、What、I won't、it? tell you about that. Also, the school we're going, apparently, Dan said there's bats. <laughs> oh, fuck out! What was that? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Something very big just landed no, on me.、No. And it had this big flapping noise. No, 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 no,
No wonder it's shut. The kids couldn't fucking get to it past all the snakes. <laughs> oh, fucking cobweb. Shit. Fucking. Fucking cobweb right there. It's on the right corner. Okay. In between the snakes and the spiders. Oh, God. hundred more fucking cobwebs. Oh. Fuck me. Oh, oh. That was oh a big God, there's a giant spider on it. Christ. <laughs> Why are we here? What is the point of this? Look at the fucking thing that I just oh. fucking ran into. It's home. This isn't wacky weekend. This is wacky shit. I'm not going to lie. The accessibility of this school might be part of the reason it's abandoned. The fact we've just gone through like a oh, jungle to get here. Why do I have to go first? That's not my get the shot of you, haven't I? No, 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 no. I gotta get the shot of you. Go on. No, I'm no, get no. the shot of you. No, I, yeah, okay. I, I, I really, I gotta get really. It's your channel. It'd be come a shame on. if all the shots were me. <laughs> so Dan was saying people come here and they leave things like trinkets and things. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. Fly tip. I, I can, I can just leave my, my old fridge here. Yeah, yeah. Trinkets. I've got a new. I've got a, a 43 inch TV. I'm to get rid of. Maybe I should come here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm terrified of bats. Why? Why? Because if you get bit by a bat, you fucking get put down. Be careful. What the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> no. Careful for the bats. Welcome to my home. Wow, so this was the school in the jungle. That is a giant fucking spider that just jumped. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding, look at it. It's huge, it's moving around. Oh! It's inside as well. Well, we've seen the school. There's another one there. I feel like Dan has very quickly become my least favourite person. Um. I've got the, the greatest phobia of spiders ever. Are hunting spiders safe? Oh yeah, they're safe. They're not poisonous. Oh, oh, okay. I thought they were poisonous. No, they're just Oh, apps. I'll go and cuddle them then. Come on, let's go say hi. What? Let's go say hi to her. Come on, let's go over. <laughs> let's go over. Come on. The, you would stop <laughs> touching me. <laughs> Big fucking boy. Oh, there's cobwebs there. I don't want to touch the cobwebs. They'll fucking have a direct route for me. What is this? It's a flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. So that's another reason they closed the school. This is when I moved to Japan, I got a fridge off Craigslist and it looked quite like this when I, when I opened it up. This is exactly what it looked like. The water looks all right, give it a swig. Can't be much worse than some of the drinks you've made for me. Oh, I don't want to see the spider on the door. I mean, right. spiders is one thing, but getting starting a new COVID is not, is not part of the plan. Oh, that is the biggest spider I've ever seen. You don't want me to take the camera? Yeah, go on, you take, take the camera. Oh! It's great, I can monitor it on the Insta360 Go 3. Still there. You need to be worried if Connor's afraid. Oh, it walked. Oh, it moved. Oh, God. It's gone. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's like aliens. I don't like it. I don't like it when I don't know where it went. It's, it's literally like the movie Aliens. Where's it gone? It's gone. Play the xylophone. Oh. Summon the spiders. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> the thing about abandoned places, you know, like jumping off a cliff, I know what I'm getting myself into. Abandoned place. I have no idea what's happening. I think this is the most unpleasant abandoned place I've ever been to. Not only does it look phenomenally creepy, like look at this, but the sheer number of insects, the, the fear of bats. I'm doing this thing, I'm, I'm like not looking at the walls or around me. I'm like purposely only looking at things that are like one foot away from me. Because every time I look, I see an insect, a creature, a beast that I don't want to see. And that includes Connor. Exploring an abandoned school full of spiders is hungry business, and so it's curry time. Are you enjoying this wacky weekend? No, this is awful. We had a nice day today and you ruined it. By having, having us go to this shit place. The curry will make up for it. It better make up. This it better will. be the best curry I've ever had in my life. It's going to be the best curry you've I'm ever had I'm going to be hyper cynical life. about it. <laughs> Oshima certainly keeps surprising us as we head deep into the forest of the island. We're rewarded and surprised to find the hidden gem that is Kitty Kitty Restaurant. One of my favourite things about this island so far is all the restaurants are really sort of tucked away and hidden. This is called Kitty Kitty. It's a really good curry restaurant, according to Dan, anyway. Um, it is like in the forest. We took this really precarious road to get here. If we had anything wider than a K car, we wouldn't have made it here. But look at that. The way it's like in this secluded little forest, carved out their own space. Really cool. I hope the food lives up to its reputation. Come on in. Oh, this looks amazing. We're in like a gingerbread style house in a forest. <laughs> We're in just a wooden house. <laughs> I mean, it's incredibly well built there, really well designed. Yeah, it's awesome. And the naan is. It's run by this lady over here, 82 years old, and you have to sort of call ahead and reserve it in advance um, so she can prepare it all. But uh, look at this spoon. It's really cool, this twisting design. She's carved this herself and made all the pottery. Oh my God, that's um, amazing. 
Just glad to be out of the heat and out yeah. of the jungle into the gingerbread house. What's she know Do you talk about this car? <笑>はい。<笑><笑><笑><笑> Not a bad view, eh? One day, Connor, all this will be yours. Wouldn't mind waking up to this view myself. This is pretty lovely. Could you live here now? Is that family more? I could live here. Is there McDonald's? So bad news, guys. Connor crashed the car, and hence Daniel's driving. Not quite, not quite. Uh, we had to take the car back. But Daniel's kindly driving us around the island to the festival that's taking place tonight, right? The biggest on the island? Yes, it's uh, the largest one of the last, I think, four in the last uh, month oh, nice. or so. Fantastic. So it's going to be a good time. Hell yeah. Are you excited, Connor? I'm excited. You know, I'm, uh, I've been meaning to bust a move for a while now, and this is the prime <laughs> opportunity to allow me to do that. Are you going to be able to bust a move with your busted leg? Show the viewers what your leg. <laughs> oh no! This is what happens when you film on the Chris Broad channel. Someone gets injured. Wacky Weekend needs a better insurance policy. Yeah, you, you, you pay in this out, right? And that was falling off the plank? No, it was being pushed. Falling. Pushed. Falling off the plank with, with style. Pushed. No, nonsense. Filled with malice, that push was. The way you fell, it was like a stunt man who hadn't been trained yet. It was like, roar, <laughs> slap the water. No, nonsense. I have to say a big thank you to you, Dan, for driving us around the last Absolutely two days and showing us around. Like without you, we'd be in a in a tree <laughs> right now. I don't know what we'd be doing. It has been an epic trip. We've survived Japan's stinkiest that dish. That could wake you from the dead. Watched Connor walk the plank and nearly had a heart attack when coming face to face with the giant huntsman spiders. And it's been a blast capturing the madness with the tiny but mighty Insta360 GO 3. A huge thanks to Insta360 for letting us test out the ultimate vlogging camera and sponsoring this epic wacky weekend trip. To grab one for yourself or find out more, check out the link in the description box below. Now on to the festival. I haven't been to a Japanese festival in like two or three years. Maybe since before COVID, so it's really cool to be back in the atmosphere, back in the swing of things. Foreigner walking around with all the weak bloody drinks. What kind of image am I cultivating? Making my way back to Connor through the crowds, beer in hand, I can't help but feel a sense of unity and cultural pride amongst the crowds of locals. Three years of pent-up lockdown misery evaporated as everyone begins to sing and dance to the heartbeat of the Taiko drums. All the while, paper lanterns and colourful decorations hanging overhead. Some festival goers spot Connor and I with the camera and want us to prove that we're YouTubers. Time to blow some minds. Now <laughs> It's not long before we get swept up in the moment and have a go, some of the games on hand. Before Connor has a chance to make a mess of things even further, we decide to join in with the festive dancing. A horrific sight that the locals of Oshima really don't deserve to see. Just copy everyone else, that's what they all do. Thank you. 
You nailed it! Kind of. What a good way to end Wacky Weekend with a dance covered in sweat with a beer. Poorly moves. Uh, what a two days it's been though. Thank you so much guys for watching all the crazy stuff we've done from buggies and room tours to curries, ramen and all sorts of food. What a great island, what an amazing place. It's been good. Good vibe. Cheers for coming. I'll see you again right back here. Do it all again guys. Wacky weekend for in Japan. See you soon. Bye. All right, get ready for the next dance. So, got our cars, we got our bollocks. <laughs> the wind fucking blew the keys. Well, should we take a look inside? I'll show you this bad boy from the inside. I can't fucking do this correctly. All right, one more time, one time. All right. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our desert island adventure here on Oshima. Now, you're not normal of fucking cock. All good things come to those who wait. Especially sloppy. <laughs> <laughs>